guys welcome back to tech dose and in this video we will look at the lead code number 796 which is rotate string problem and we will be looking at the optimal approach before watching this video i will request you to watch my video on kmp algorithm you can click on the i button and also find the link in the description below let's now read the problem statement in this problem we are given two strings s and goal and we need to return true if and only if s can become goal after certain number of shifts on the given string s a shift on s consists of moving the leftmost character s to the rightmost position so if you write a b c and if you do a left shift by one time then it will become b c a that means the left side uh, character will become uh, the the rightmost character okay and the same can happen if you again do one more time left shift then you will get c a b that means this b will be appended at the end right now if your s here a b c d e can become equals to goal after certain number of shift operation then we need to return true otherwise false in this case you can do two shift operation so that your a comes to the last and then your b comes to the last as well so a b is appended at the end and you will get c d e in the beginning right so you need to return true here otherwise uh, if you look at the second example a b c with e d then even if you uh, do any number of shift it does not matter because the characters here d e and e d are not in the same order they should be in the same order right so we have to return false here now the constraint says only strings are of 100 length so even the brute force technique would work here and uh, it contains all the lowercase english letters now let's look at an example in this case we are let's say given tech dose and our goal is to convert it to dose tech and we have to find out can this string s become equal to the goal string that means dose tech after having followed that only the left shift operations are allowed now the string after the left shift operation should exactly match and for them to match they must be of the same length as well right s and goal are exactly of the same length now if we do left shift operation four times on this s then this dose will come in the beginning and tech will go at the end and so this s will match with this goal and therefore we need to return true so we can define a base case here that the length of s and length of goal if they are not the same then we will always return false it will never be convert as to goal once they we know that they are of the same length then only we will try to do left shift operation and try to find out if they are equal now if we look at this string s then if you do circular type rotation you will always be able to find goal in the given circular rotation if you append this string s two times so what happens if you append this string s two times so you get tech dose and you have to append it two times so you get another tech dose now if this goal and string can become equal after some circular rotations then in this problem you will always be able to find dose tech as a substring in this entire string this entire string was formed by uh, appending s with s right the initial input string and if you can find dose tech here then it will always be uh, possible to convert this given string s to goal given certain number of left rotations okay now why this is true because uh, in this case we are just removing the constraint of circular rotation and uh, if you append it two times then definitely it will contain all the rotations possible as substring you can just check it out right so that is why we have done this now having known this let's try to apply the simple matching approach in this case let's say our given string is double a double b so we will be creating a text which will be of size s appended with s so this will be double a double b double a double b right so this is of length m and our goal is to find out if the given string s can be converted to goal after doing certain number of left shifts so so let's say this is double b double a and this is of length n now what i want to find is i want to find this goal substring in this uh, text right so is there is there any substring called double b double a in this text so you can use the simple find uh, built in operation or uh, you can just start matching from the beginning so is it matching with b no if it would have matched then we would have done let's say order of n number of matching and maybe the last character will not match right in this case again if you match this a with b again it is not matching but in the worst case you could have done another four matches now this b is matching with this b and if you start matching the four characters will match here right 
so in this case uh, we actually found the goal substring in the text and that is why uh, we can say that s can be converted to goal after doing certain number of left shift operation we have to return true in this case right now in the worst case scenario for every substring we need to do order of n number of matches from every possible starting point and that is why the time complexity would be order of m n here okay but then we can improve it and make it a linear time complexity and for that we have to use the pattern matching kmp algorithm so in this case i will take the s as double a double b again the text will be found by doing s plus s and that will be double a double b double a double b okay now we are given the pattern double b double a and you know that in kmp we will be forming the lps array so let's form the LPS array. For the first one, we will always write zero. You can follow my KMP video for a detailed explanation on this. Let's say that here I will have a J pointer and here I will have an I pointer, okay? Now this LPS array is defining the length of longest prefix, which is also a suffix. So for just a single character, there is no proper prefix and suffix. So it will always be zero. Now for this point, if Ith and Jth value matches, then your length of longest prefix which is also a suffix will be of length j plus 1 which is 1 this is uh, index 0 index 1 2 and 3 so that's why it will be index 0 plus 1 now we will be moving i and j both to the right hand side now at this point it for 2 this i and j are not matching and if they are not matching we will move back by looking at the j minus ith value from the lps array this will give me the previous best uh, place to actually start matching right now uh, we will be going to zero and again we will be matching this b with a not matching so i'll be writing here zero because i cannot move any f further to the back so i'll be moving to the right hand side again this a will be matching with this b and again it is not matching so i'll write zero here so the lps array is zero one double zero once you have found the lps array then we will be doing the pattern search on the given text let's start our search from this i value which is a and I will be starting from this uh, J value, which is this B. Now, if it is not matching, then I will be moving forward A. Again, if it is not matching, I'll be moving forward. And if it is matching, I will start matching all the characters. And in this case, they will match eventually. And so, once you have matched and if the J is out of bound, then you know that the entire pattern exists in the text and that is how you return a true. Okay. So, let me show you this in the code. If you look at the code, then what we have done is uh, we are given a string S and goal. So first thing we will do is the base case check. They must be of the same length. If that is not true, we will return false immediately. Now we will be uh, saving the text and the text will be equals to S plus S. That is two times of S. Now we will be calculating the LPS array from the goal. And then we will be using the pattern matching KMP algorithm to actually match this goal with the text using the LPS array. Now you can simply follow the LPS code. This was already explained in my video on the KMP algorithm. And uh, this is the exact same KMP code as well, which is for the pattern matching. So I think uh, you should watch my KMP video and you will definitely get this entire solution. If you still have any doubt, then feel free to comment below and I'll try to help you as soon as possible. If you are someone who is looking to prepare for top product based company within a limited time of just three months, then we have brought for you both the DSA and the system design live interview training program. The most important feature of this program is you get a filtered and condensed structured curriculum in depth discussion of all the topics and my guarantee of your understanding one on one guidance with me and live weekend classes to know more about the training you can whatsapp us on this given number.